Hello guys, this is my second time recording this for Blender. The first time it was more of a learning experience to me. But even though I like to keep my videos short, so I was like I will just re-record it again and get to that point. Right now I am rendering a project and the project called Spark. I will definitely leave it in the description so you can definitely test it for yourself and see the speed. The project is 10 frames and right now Blender is rendering each frame. The very first frame on the M1 chip and then 8 cores and then it has 256 gigabyte of storage and 8 gigabyte of RAM. The very first render or the very first frame took 11 minutes and 2 seconds to render as a whole. Then here on the 16 inch MacBook Pro it took 7 minutes and 26 seconds and that's only for the first frame and based on that we will take 11 and multiply it by 10 since the project is 10 frames that's mean the project on the M1 chip will take 110 minutes give or take which is almost 2 hours while here if we are talking about 7 minutes then 7 multiplied by 10 which is then frames that mean it would take 70 minutes i.e. it would take only one hour and 10 minutes give or take so that's the results with the m1 chip and the results with the macbook pro 16 inch. as for the setup for both devices on the m1 chip i have the render engine as cycles and then the future set supported and then the device as cpu on my 16 inch macbook pro is the same the render engine is cycles the future set is supported and the device is the cpu i will stop this and do another project which i will just change the render engine and then we will see the results on that and we will see if it's faster or slower but before that i would like to give a big shout out to the person who did ask for a blender test because he did show me how to go through a blender because i have never dabbled a lot with a blender before i opened it once or twice in my lifetime and i saw that cube when you first open it and i was like oh boy uh -uh. This is not something I want to deal with. So what I will do right now, I will change the engines and see how much it would take in order to do the first frame on each with a different engine, if that would make anything different. Aside from that, if there is anything that needs to be tested or whatever that might be, you can leave them in the comment below and please at least walk me through on how to do the test for you because again I am not familiar with everything only what I can do is iOS and Xcode test which I have done extensively so far because I am an iOS developer and when it comes to web development there is really not that much that we can test and I use sublime text for web um, development and when it comes to video editing I have two videos talking about video editing intensively and those are the stuff that I do and those are the stuff that I am much more I have a profound knowledge about it. So I will stop both of these renders and change the engines and then start them over. So I would go to file, clean up. So I would try Eevee and then I would click render animation. So right now we are using Eevee and I think Eevee broke the machine. <laughs> clean up and then go to Eevee, render. I think Eevee broke both devices. I have no idea what EV is, but what I know is when I do EV, the machines just go into a cycle. Yep. Mm. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. EV. EV kind of killed both of the machines. I am not sure if it's a bug or EV is some other rendering engine that is stuff. I. The best bet would be to force quit before it's too late. So force quit. Yeah, um, Blender is not responding. Okay, Blender is not responding here as well. And then open, splash. And then what I will do this time, I will try, let's see, with the CPU, there is CPU and then CPU compute. Oh, GPU compute, okay. Let's try GPU compute. GPU compute should be faster. So we will try cycles with GPU compute. Maybe that would be faster. We will see. So GPU compute file render. It is taking more time with GPU compute. I mean, it's taken more time on the 16 inch, but instead of seven minutes, it's eight minutes now. And here, instead of 11 minutes, it's 14 minutes. So definitely GPU compute is slower on both. We will try workbench. 
on both and then we should be done with the test and of course these are the numbers that I have on both and if you want to compare it with your device and have a better idea you can definitely do that so right now we are with workbench let's see how workbench would work it's working in a very weird way what it's doing interesting let's see hopefully I didn't do anything wrong what does what does workbench does it seems like workbench is faster because it's jumping between frames really quick we are already at seven frames and here we are at nine frames we are at ten frames we are almost done at the 16 inch is that what does workbench does wait right now it does what the heck is going on okay did it start rendering or oh it's six seconds and then here it's seven seconds wait are we done mm -mm -mm. it didn't even run mm -mm. it's 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 not working i guess that is the test overall we now know the times and that is the test if there is any questions or concerns leave them in the comments below and um that's literally it